So today, this is Clip Clip bringing you how to route the HTC Inspire 4G. First of all, of course, you're going to need the HTC Inspire 4G. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully you've got that. Anyways, you're going to want to plug in your phone to your computer. Make sure it's on charge only. That's a vital part. Charge only. Anyways, you're going to go to your settings. Go to applications. Once you click on applications, go into development. Oh, that's storage use, not development. You're going to go in development, make sure USB, USB debugging and stay awake are both on. Once those are turned on, you can go ahead and just leave that alone for the while. Then in the description, we'll have the download link for the FN manual. Now, the FN manual, of course, no one wants to read that, but this is what you're going to get when you're in there. Uh, anyways, let's see here. First off, you're going to want to go to tools. Make sure you have Win drivers installed. HTC drivers, you're going to want those. Make sure those are installed. I already have those installed and everything. Then you're going to want to open Ace or Hack Ace. So once you click on that, C command is going to come up and it's going to put input pass key and press enter. So the input pass key, what we're going to want to go to, back into tools, the folder tools, and down to text. Text, you click on Cajun. Select all this bullcrab right here. Copy it. And this is changes every time, so you can't just open this back up and put it in there again. And of course, we're going to want to paste it into the C command right here. So paste it. Make sure there's no space after this. Press the Enter. Okay, now it's going to bring this up. Ace Advanced Hack Kit. You're going to want to uh, it's, it, select and press a key. You're going to want to press 1. So the number 1, just the number 1, press Enter. Yeah. So enter again. Okay, now it's going to start up all this stuff, and it's going to say, Oh, look, we're doing stuff to your phone. That's awesome. So let's <laughs> wait for it to go. Starting up for Gingerbread Restore. So everything it can. And this is in C command, so I think it's pretty cool. Right now, of course, your phone's not going to be doing anything, so you're going to think, Clip Clip, what are you doing? You're dumb. Exploiting device. This is where it gets a good part of it. It's putting all of the things in it needs. So we're still waiting, starting update process, and it'll automatically update your phone to what it needs to do to root it. Again, I'm not liable for anything that happens to your phone, uh, but it shouldn't, if you follow this process, you shouldn't have any problems. It's going to come up with that eventually, once everything's good. You start up your device automatically. All right. Okay, now it's putting all the files onto the phone, sending zip, everything like that. And this is going to take a minute, so this video, of course, is going to be long, but here we go. Downloading. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is my friend's phone, so. Sorry, Riker. So, sure. Riker, I'm sorry if it messes up. <laughs> things happen, right? It's putting all the radios in, the radio files, so that you can hear on your phone and whatnot. <laughs> you're going to lose all your contacts. So you're going to be freaking out. You're going to be like, what the heck, where are all my contacts stuff? But I'll show you how to get all those back eventually. <laughs> and again, this is going to take just a little while. <clears throat> but just let it do its thing. Do not interfere with it at all. Because if you interfere with it, you're going to crap up your phone. Just saying. Installs an old, it's it's going to install a lot of radios in it, so. <sighs> Wait for it to process again. I'll just show this process so you know what's going on. Okay. Still doing everything. Sorry, this is taking a while, guys. Still working at stuff. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install all of your uh, contacts back and everything, how to get everything up. Okay, starting next process again. Like it's saying, please be patient. But, you know, that whole deal. <laughs> These little amateur guys over here. Hey. Okay. Radio downgrade is complete is what it's saying on my phone, and it's going to do some weird stuff here, so you don't freak out. Your phone's just fine. As long as you have the radio, you're going to be able to do everything. 
Okay. Again, it tries to be funny saying major abracadabra going on. Please be patient. It's still doing it. By the way, this is for Android version 2.3.3. That's the. This is for AT and T, of course. So that's the version of Gingerbread you're getting. So we would We will not be getting ice cream sandwich. So. Uh, since that didn't happen, you can download a custom ROM and everything, and uh, that's what it'll do to get ice cream sandwich on there. And of course, we don't have front-facing camera, so we can't get front-facing uh, unlocking screens, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, who cares, right? Okay, it's resetting itself. Still going. And don't worry about that. I worry about that the first time when I rooted my phone. The normal error here, that's just, that's, that's normal, of course, like it says. And this process, of course, takes forever, so. Okay. Now it's installing Clockwork Mod Recovery and the root as well. And, of course, this will come back up on your phone once you're done. It's starting the update process right now. So, takes forever. I'll just leave it on this screen to show you what it's doing, so you'll know what to expect. Nope, oh, unlock screen, what are you doing? Total time 156 seconds. Too freaking long if you ask me, but hey, it's all worth it. Of course, when rooting, if a person doesn't know what rooting is, it's going to make your performance on your phone better. You know, uh, if you want it to, it's all going to also going to save battery life. We'll show you how to uh, put on set CPU, all that stuff, all the good stuff that you can need for normal rooting. Uh, okay, process complete. All right, press any key, continue. It's going to exit you out of there. Okay, now that we're off of that part. The rest is from the phone. So, if you'll hold this for me, I can show what to do. Okay. Rethink possible my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Recalculating. <laughs> of course, I hate AT&T, so who doesn't, right? Still resetting everything. And you can just go ahead and exit out of this whole as their ace hack kit everything. You're not gonna need this now. Your your phone successfully rooted after this point, so of course it's gonna take a minute just to reboot itself. Reboot, come on! I'm rethinking possible right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, we just saw that. <laughs> These phones are very complicated. Of course, Android is is you know is um, Google so okay it's gonna look normal when you unlock it and everything uh, here whoop secret code probably need to get this there we go okay choose a connection type done and it's gonna go into all this stuff it's gonna it's gonna be quite weird for a minute okay now, the whole point of rooting it is, is it downloaded a thing called Super User. Super User right here. And now Super User is, is your root file. So this is just the first part of the, the uh, rooting process. And we'll make another video on how to root the rest. If you want to know download, want to know how to download your custom ROMs and everything, rate, comment, like, whatever you want to do. I'll show you how to do it all. So uh, if you want to know if you know how to do it past year, but this is how you successfully root your HTC Inspire 4G. Um, downloading custom ROMs again, will it'll lose everything you have, but as long as you have it on your uh, market, then you'll be fine. So anyways, clip clip out again. So just uh, if you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll let you know. But your HTC Inspire 4G successfully rooted and not bricked. So yay you. See you guys later.